what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to verify a fundamental set of solution for a linear second order homogeneous differential equation and we know that this is homogeneous because this is equal to zero and here we have two solutions now first thing we have to do is we have to verify whether these are the solution for this differential equation and that's the first step and after that we do the wrong scan and if, if we get a value that's not equal to zero this means we verified this solution is a fundamental set of solution for a linear second order differential equation and when we have the this solution we can express our final general solution as y of x is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 now let's uh, go and verify this one first okay so to verify this one what we have to do is let's uh, write this one again y1 x is equal to e power x over 2 now to verify this one what i have to do is i have to find the two derivatives because we are going to apply in this equation back and see whether we get zero now the first derivative of this one is going to be y prime of x that's going to be half e power x by 2 and the second derivative of this one is going to be colon 2 half times 1 over 2 again so that's going to make this one 1 over 4 e power x over 2 now let's plug it in this equation and if you plug it in this equation you will get 4 times y double prime we found out y double prime is 1 over 4 e power x divided by 2 minus 4 times y prime y prime is this one half e power x divided by 2 then after that we have plus y y is this one e power x divided by 2 that should be equal to 0 now let's check whether it is true now you can see this is going to be e power x divided by 2 minus this is going to be 2 e power x divided by 2 plus e power x divided by 2 that should be equal to 0 from this one you can see that this is e power x divided by 2 and here we have positive e power x divided by 2 so if we add them together this is positive 2 e power x divided by 2 and here we have a negative 2 x e power 2 e power x divided by 2 so these three cancel each other so that's going to be 0 so this is 0 0 is equal to 0 so this is one of the solution now let's see whether this one is a solution for this differential equation now to do that again we have to do the same approach we write this one y2x is equal to x e power x divided by 2 then we take the first derivative of this one the first derivative of this one is going to be for here we are going to have a product rule as well as chain rule because we have two functions of x so we are going to have a product rule now let's take the derivative of x that's going to be just one and we keep the other one as it is that's going to be e power x divided by 2 then we keep the x as it is and take the derivative of the other one that's going to be half x half times x e power x divided by 2 and uh, that's it now this is first derivative now let's take the second derivative second derivative is going to be for this one this is going to be just half e power x divided by 2 for this is for this one again this is going to be a chain rule and product rule and uh, if i take the derivative of x this is going to be just half e power x divided by 2 then if i take the derivative if i keep x as it is and take the derivative of e power x divided by 2 this is going to become 1 over 4 because the derivative is going to be 1 over 2 times e power x divided by 2 so 1 over 2 e power x divided by 2 so that 1 over 2 multiply this 1 over 2 and that's going to make this one 1 over 4 x e power x divided by 2 and this is our second derivative now also you can see we can add these two together and that's going to make this one e power x divided by 2 because half half that's going to be 1 and here we have 1 over 4 e x e power x divided by 2 and this is our second derivative now let's go ahead and plug it in this equation now let's bring it right here plug it in this equation and see what we get so 4 times y double prime 4 times y double prime is this one e power x divided by 2 plus 1 over 4 x e power x divided by 2 and then minus 4 y prime minus 4 y prime is this one e power x divided by 2 plus half 
x e power x divided by 2 then after that we plug y plus y yeah, that's going to be x e power x divided by 2 that should be equal to 0 now from this one we can see this is going to be 4 e power x divided by 2 4 times 1 over 4 cancels each other we are going to have get x e power x divided by 2 here we are going to have four, minus 4 e power x divided by 2 and 4 times 1 over 2 that's going to be 2 so plus 2 x e power x divided by 2 and also here we have a x e power x divided by 2 and here one thing I had to do is uh, like I had to put a bracket in front of everything because we have two functions multiply by negative so this is going to be negative for x e power x divided by 2 from this one we can see this is going to cancel with this one and this is negative because this negative multiply this one so this is going to be negative 2x e power x divided by 2 here we have positive positive so these two cancels with this one so this uh, this is 0 and 0 is equal to 0 0 is equal to 0 again so this is also a solution for the differential equation now the final step is we have to verify is with the wrong scan equation now the wrong scan equation is okay let's write with a different color let's continue with the black okay let's separate so I'm going to do the round scan right here round scan y1 y2 to do the round scan method what we do is first we put y1 and y2 y1 is e power x divided by 2 and then y2 is x e power x divided by 2 then we take the derivative of this one for this one derivative is going to be half e power x divided by 2 and the derivative of this one we found out right here this, this is the one that's going to be e power x divided by 2 plus half e power x half x e power x divided by 2 so there should be an x right here half x e power x divided by 2 after that we have to find the determinant determinant you know that ad minus bc okay so ad is going to be e power x divided by 2 times this one that's going to make this one let's write this one right here let's write with a different color uh, let's get rid of this part because it's going to make confusions now we found out these two are solutions now this is our last part let's verify this one <coughs> okay also let's get rid of this okay, let's continue here so now finally we end up with this one let's multiply so a a d minus b c so a d is this one e power x divided by 2 multiplied by e power x divided by 2 plus half x e power x divided by 2 then a d minus b c b times c that's going to be x e power x divided by 2 times half e power x divided by 2 and from this one you can see this is going to be when we multiply the powers will add so this is going to become just e power x and then this is going to be e power x divided by 2 times this one again the powers are going to add so we are going to have half x e power x and in the other side we are going to have negative and here again if we multiply this one with this one this is going to make this one half x e power x and from this one you can see these two cancels each other these two these two cancels each other but finally we end up with e power x and that is not equal to zero that's what we want we want the wrong skew and final value is not equal to zero and if we get this one it means this is the fundamental set of solution for this linear second order differential equation so we can express our final solution like general solution for this 
differential equation as this y of x is equal to c1 and y1 is this one e power x divided by 2 plus c2 y2 that's going to be x e power x divided by 2 and that's going to be the general solution for this differential equation. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.